Hello, wonderful people of Nigeria. How are you doing today? Hope you never see rain from that side, though. Well, the life on the street, I want to find out from Nigerians how far they can go in their relationship. We have so many people saying, look, I can do anything. I mean, anything for my man. And this goes beyond the regular, for better or for worse, that we usually do in churches. So now, we have people saying, look, I can swear and host to pledge my loyalty to my partner. So today, we'll be finding out if people can take a blood covenant just to show their partners that, yes, They'll stick with them through thick or thin. I'm Temi Takwa Kokwala and this is Nige.com TV. Let's find out. No. Can you do it? I can't do it because it's not good. Because, you know, uh, it's not good for human beings to have like covenant because one can go and one can remain. So if, like, say so we get like covenant, if one person go, go, definitely the other one will go. Go where? We will die now, so don't need to have a covenant. That you cannot find a way of telling your partner you love her. Why now? As, as, as I said, I love you now. Yes, so that's life. So no covenant, no blood no covenant. covenant. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. At the sight of God, it's not good. It's, 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 it's a cause. Because I like church, I don't do it. So we don't do it. No? Why? Because it's not biblical. Um, it's not biblical and even in the natural way it's not acceptable because it's a blood covenant which when it's been when it's broken there is a repercussion to it which can be life or life threatening too. I'm coming. Let me get back to you. So please uh, can you take um, a blood oath with your partner? Uh, never impossible. Never impossible. It's not possible. How will I make a hold, uh, a blood hold with uh, somebody that I want to marry or that I've been engaged with or my wife? It's not possible. So how do you want to prove to her that you love her? Uh, yes, I can prove with, with uh, the, I mean, the Bible is okay for us to prove that genuine love doesn't mean we're going into having a blood hold. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, doesn't mean. I'll get back to you. So if your partner insists on a blood covenant, what would you do? Which means there is something behind it. It's not ordinary. Because if it's ordinary, he shouldn't insist. And if, he's, if he has fear of God in him, he shouldn't even bring it up because it's, it's diabolic. Thank you, Ma. So if your partner insists on doing it regardless, what would you do? Well, I will beg her that she, why is she insisting and having blood hold then? If she's not thinking, it means it's not for me. So let her go on her own. I go on my own. You know, most times this blood um, health we're talking about, it, it starts with a cut, with a tiny cut. So if she has blood on her thumb or something, you can't suck it and say, baby, I love you. Oh, my God. Is it a has, she has a wound? Is it she has a wound or you use, she used blade to cut her, her teeth or her mouth or anyhow? And that doesn't mean she has a court, it doesn't mean that one is normal. A lot of kids that I will bring, you know. Yes, having a blood covenant with a partner shows that you love her. Because uh, it's just like a vow. That one, taking a blood covenant with your partner is, shows that you have vow. One, to be loyal. Two, not to betray her. And three, not to set her out to whosoever want to kill her or whosoever want to defraud her. That's why it's very necessary to demonstrate that love for your partner if you really want to appreciate her as a loving, as a loved one to you. That is just all. So if your partner says, look, I don't want this blood covenant, it is scary, what would you do? Would you first her? No, I won't force her, but I will show her understanding. Better understanding is the way forward. It's not by subjecting the person under duress. No, it's a better understanding. There's a better understanding to effect such blood covenants. But we talk to her in a better understanding and the, the language that she understands and the language that we favor her and the language that has been part of the ethics. And we let her know that and the important attached to it. Certainly, she will, she will accept to do the blood covenant with me. Yeah, it's quite sure I can be able to donate blood uh, between me and my wife. 
because my wife is my future career and I can do that because she has, she's the one that will bomb my generation and I can do that as a result of all between me and her. So wait now, on this note, say you love your partner. You feel sweat, using blood, say you no go leave her. Yes, quite sure I can be able to give him by my blood based on some condition. You will lick her blood too, to show say you love her. Yes, I will lick her blood because I love her for many reasons like odds and to believe, to show that we are all because my wife, she is part of me and anything belongs to her, it belongs to me. No, 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 no. I can't do that. Why? Number one, the Bible is against it. And doing that, that don't really shows that you love the person. You can do that at the same time shitting on that person. Because I know so many people that have done such, they still go ahead and misbehave. While going outside, there are some here in Lagos, when the party maybe traveled outside the country, you see them misbehaving. Or maybe they meet someone else that has money far, far better than the previous person they were going out with. You see them misbehaving. So to me, it's of no use. So because you think your partner can actually still take your blood, like, you know, go through the swearing and then at the end of the day cheat on you, you won't do it. It's not good. The Bible is against it. It's against the word of God. So I don't do things that goes outside the will of God. What if the love of your life insists? My love of life insists. It's not possible. I can't go for that. It's I'll very, very risky. 100% sure. It's risky. It's very, very risky. Because it's anything can risk. happen. The risk there is that when you entered into it, breaking the covenant is not as easy as the way you think because life goes after that. Unless if someone that really given ease or life to Christ, you repent, you are fully, really well that you know you've repented, you've given your life to Christ, God will forgive you. And there are still some consequences that followed it. Because God can just, cannot just forgive you and let you go. There are consequences you face. So the Bible is against it. It's better you just avoid instead of you taking that risk. It can't happen. Why? Uh, that was in the olden days, not nowadays now. Why can't it happen now? Uh, it's not uh, it's not 100% sure now. Your wife can leave you, you can leave your husband. So that kind of thing is not exist. So people are not doing it again. So you will not do it? I can't. So, but if she insists on having it, what would you do? Uh, what are yours like? Maybe she go find her person. That's the thing. So you not leave her because of that? Uh, I can't do that. You know you love her? I love her now. I, I love her. You might leave me, I might leave her. That's it. You know, uh, when something when you plant A, maybe that A is not going to be like B. So that's the thing. You know, like, the love is not there. Love is there. But covenant is another thing. And something about covenant is it's like evil. I just see like the evil thing. Thank you.